All right, here we go, folks. Here's a movie from way, way back in the day. This is Popeye. Yeah, Popeye. It's a live-action musical from 1980. Well, musical comedy, I guess. Now, when I was a kid, there was a few problems with this movie that I didn't catch at all. Uh, I don't remember actually really liking this very much when I was a kid, but by the time 2022 rolled around, uh, I was like, hey, I, I don't remember anything about that movie, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, and uh, like I said, there's some problems. Main problem is, it's a musical, and I hate musicals, in general. I mean, there's a few that slip by, you know, stuff like, uh, I don't know, South Park, <laughs> that was a musical. Uh, how about uh, Team America? And Disney movies seem to get a pass, you know, uh, just because it's like cartoon characters singing these things, and it's just not out of nowhere where people just burst into song, and uh, I just find that really annoying. And it is super annoying in Popeye, mainly because the songs are terrible. Uh, at least I think they are. Of course, you got uh, Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall starring in this. Robin Williams as Popeye, and he does some singing, and he's not bad, but the songs are dumb. Shelley Duvall, on the other hand, oh man, like I guess she does a really good job of playing Olive Oil, the character, and she even stays in character when she sings the songs, but her voice is so annoying, and the songs that she's given to sing are so bad, and she's like off-key in the whole thing, and yeah, I, I put this on in, like, I watched this in chunks, because uh, I watched the first half hour of this, and I almost gave up on it. And it was so terrible. The first half hour of this movie just blows. There's a few good things to be said about that first half hour, mainly just the, the sets. The, the uh, cinematography is all really good, and but the actors are so cheesy and so annoying and and it's nothing but like singing for the first like 10 minutes at least then you get a little five minute comedy scene and that isn't very funny and they just go to another song and i was like i don't know if i can do this like uh yeah i was really tempted to turn this off after the 30 minutes and just stop but i came back to it the next day because i was like well I have a movie review channel, I might as well watch it, right? I guess I was kind of viewing it as, like, work to get through it. But it eventually won me over. Imagine that. The things that really annoyed me in that first 30 minutes was like, okay, you're trying to set up this story and all these crazy characters, and they're throwing so many crazy characters at you all at once, and your main character... Popeye, portrayed by Robin Williams, you can't even understand what the hell the guy's saying, because he's like, first of all, he's speaking through the side of his face, and he's got a pipe hanging out of his mouth, like, the whole time, and he's and he's doing the Popeye, like, accent or whatever, that combined with it, like, dumb, like, slang dialogue and stuff like that, slang from, like, the 20s or something, what the fuck, what are you talking about, Robin, like, I don't even understand you, and... Yeah, and then we get some scenes about Olive Oil is engaged to be married with Bluto, and uh, the Bluto guy barely does anything, and uh, he's barely in it at all. Well, I guess he is, but he he doesn't do anything. Uh, but he's like runs the town or whatever. Um, so she runs away and doesn't want to marry Bluto, and she runs into Popeye, and they find little baby Sweet Pea, and you know the movie actually picks up from there. Because then it has some heart. And it's like, you know, you, you learn a bit of a little background about Popeye and why he's a weirdo. And um, they don't explain those freaking arms, though. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the story and, like, the acting is okay. And some of the comedy scenes, like, um, like the physical comedy stuff, kind of does replicate the old, like, Popeye cartoons and comic strips from way back. There's a couple good scenes in the middle, too. Uh, there's, like, a boxing match. Some, like, 
some fighter comes to town and he's got his own special ship and traveling show and all this stuff and then Popeye ends up in the ring like boxing this guy and stuff and that's a pretty funny scene and yeah I don't know suddenly that scene won me over I don't know why uh, I found it uh, charming I guess is the word and the relationship with the baby and trying to find uh, the baby gets kidnapped and trying to find the baby later and Popeye finding his dad and uh, learning to actually like spinach which gives him his super strength or whatever because uh, that's like the Dave's ex machina in every single Popeye cartoon is like he's getting his ass kicked and then somebody throws him a can of spinach and he's like and then he you know goes nuts and beats up the bad guy and it's pretty much how this movie ends too right it's okay I mean the good things about it Robin Williams is good in the role, even though I had really had a hard time understanding what he was even saying. Uh, his physical comedy is good, and his, uh, you know, mannerisms are very good, and he plays the character well. Uh, same with Shelley Duvall. It's just, ugh. Her singing voice, though, it's like, why did you even have that song in there? Like, it, I mean, I know it's meant to sound goofy and ridiculous and terrible, I suppose, because that's the character of Olive Oil. She's got a weird, funny voice. And uh, for some reason, they focus on her boots a bunch of times in this movie. I don't know. I guess they were so proud of these, like, prop boots that Olive Oil wears. And it's like, oh, it's just like the cartoon. Yeah, great. Okay. Uh, so, you know, so the acting is good. And actually, Ray Walston plays Pappy or Papai or whatever he is. Popeye's dad. And uh, he's pretty good at it, too. And once he shows up, the movie really actually gets better. Uh, and the sets, like I said, the sets are really impressive because this entire movie is shot on a set that was built from scratch uh, somewhere in the Isle of Malta, I believe. Uh, and they built like this entire town to film this movie in. This story is kind of dumb, but it plays out like a cartoon like it's supposed to. And this movie does what it's supposed to do. Or at least what it thinks it's supposed to do. It's just that music is just ugh, irritating. But by the end of it, I guess you kind of get uh, somewhat invested in the characters. And you really care whether Popeye's going to save the day or not. Even though you know he's going to. Uh, there's a fun rubber octopus in here, too. Uh, just briefly, but it's, it looks pretty funny. And, uh, you know, Popeye beats up the octopus at the end. Spoilers. Yeah, it's got a lot of problems, but overall, I would have to give Popeye, um, I'm going to go C+. Plus. It wasn't terrible. It was a little disappointing. I was hoping for it to be a little bit better, and I almost bailed after that first 30 minutes. But it has enough in there to keep it entertaining and keep it worth watching. You just got to get through that first little bit. It's unique. I'll give it that. And it was Robin Williams' first starring role, and he did it pretty well. Just uh, didn't win everybody over. But if you want to see something interesting, you know, beginning of Robin Williams' career, movie career that is, then, uh, you know, give it a spin, see what you think. It's Popeye the Sailor Man. So until next time, folks, have a good one.